forces and those are still affected by COVID and uh, two local uh, residents, uh, uh, Joe Gill, who was editor of the News of the Highlands, passed and uh, my cousin uh, Patricia Graber. Thank you. Okay, let's uh, public hearing on the tentative budget for 2022 and to 2023. I'd like to open uh, that meeting up. If I could have a motion. So moved. Second. Second. Second by Gary. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Uh, Mr. Walters, uh, if you could uh, go through the tentative budget. Uh, which is not the final budget, and uh, uh, before you start, I'll just say that I have a budget workshop, which now we can do after the tentative is read, which is tonight, that's law, uh, for Saturday, April the 23rd at 9.30 a.m. at the Senior Center. Okay. Tentative general fund budget, uh, I'm just reading uh, the sub totals. I'm not reading each and every line item. Total Board of Trustees 26,242. Mayor 22,760. Treasurer 74,656. Budget 2,675. Purchasing 52,100. Clerk 245,254. Attorney 90,000. Engineers, 65,000. Elections, 3,000. Buildings, 70,000. Central Garage, 122,295. Technical support, 30,000. Unallocated insurance, 201,000. Municipal Association dues, 2,500. Assessments and claims, 25,000. MTA tax, 8200 Contingency, 65000 Central Communications, 299821 Police Department, 1217218 Traffic Control, 12893 On-Street Parking, 23619 Fire Department, 148170 Registrar, 1,000. Street Administration, 32,954. Street Maintenance, 340,023. Street Maintenance Chips, 25,000. Snow Removal, 98,800. Street light Lighting, 85,000. Sidewalks, 25,500. Parks, 53,000. Beautification, 40,000. Celebrations, 12,000. Senior Citizen Center, 15,000. Storm Sewers, 17,900. Refuse and Garbage, 5,000. Street Cleaning, 7,000. Benefits, 1,472,263. Serial Bonds, 302,770. Bond Anticipation Notes, 133,570. Transfers to reserve fund, 95,000. Total general fund appropriations, 5,579,183. That will be covered by uh, estimated revenues of one million seven. 138,000 will be using appropriated fund balance of 552,293 
And the amount that will be raised by taxes is $3,288,890. And that is the maximum under staying at the cap. That's what the, we're allowed under the tax cap calculation. Next will be the water fund. Water fund engineer 23,000, property taxes 43,000, contingency 60,000, water administration 13,000, purification and filtration 416,775, transmission and distribution 125,100, benefits 133,625. Serial bonds, 81369 Transfer to reserve fund, $10,000. Interfund transfers, $200,000. Giving a budget of $1,105,869. And that will be covered by estimated revenues of $898,500. And we will be using this year... 207,369 of surplus. Sewer fund. Engineer 5,000. Contingencies 30,000. Street administration 13. Sanitary sewer 71,800. Sewer treatment plant 520,580. Benefits 162,268. And serial bonds, 30398 Transfer to the reserve fund, 10000 And inner fund transfers of 170000 Giving a total budget of $1,013,046. And all of that will be covered by the estimated revenues. There is no appropriation of surplus in the sewer fund. Just as a reminder, uh, the budget must be adopted by the board by May 1st. If by chance it is not adopted, this becomes the final budget. Comments by the public? Okay, let the record show no comments. Uh, um, I will take a motion to close. Motion. Motion by Brian. Is there a second? Second. Second by Jim. All in favor? Yes. yes. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ralph. And the worksheet, the workshop will be on, on Saturday, 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 April 23rd at 9.30. Senior Center. Senior Center. <coughs> Just reminding the board, you can yeah. got the adjustments down that you want. I have some changes. Right. We, you, you know, you yeah. can start talking about it now. Yeah. Up until tonight. Since May twentieth, you couldn't talk about correct changes. So, thank you, Ralph, very much. Right. And Ralph, uh, by Ralph. May one. May one. I don't what if that's a weekend. Maybe you got an extra day. You have the May. It's, it's right May there. Saturday May one is a uh, right there, Gary. So May second. one is Sunday. So you get the second Monday. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ralph. Yeah. May I have a motion? May I have a motion to open the reorganization, the annual reorganizational meeting? Make a motion. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. <clears throat> As mayor, I make the following appointments. Deputy Mayor James DeSavo, Police Commissioner Brian Howard, Fire Commissioner Joseph D'Onofrio, Sanitation and Wastewater James DeSavo. Street Commissioner Brian Howard, Water Commissioner Gary Phillips, Building Commissioner uh, Regina Taylor, Building, Co Building Department Code Enforcement Liaison Trustee Guerrero, Tr Disaster Preparedness Kurt Hahn and Joseph D'Onofrio. I work very well with Kurt, he's a great guy. Senior Citizen Liaison Joseph D'Onofrio, DPW EA Union Negotiator, Village Labor Attorney. Police Union Negotiator, Village Labor Attorney. 
Spanish Latino community liaison Ivan Marzen and Hector Alamont. Town liaison Joseph D'Onofrio. School liaison Brian Howard and West Point liaison Joseph D'Onofrio. May I have the following uh, appointments made from a motion. Deputy Village Clerk Treasurer Anna Sierra. Attorney for the Village Elise Trahoon. Budget Officer Ralph Walters. Bingo Commissioner Sergeant Ruger. Fair Housing Officer Anna Sierra. MWBE Officer, the Village Clerk. 911 Addressing Coordinator, Detective Cleveland and Fire Chief. Bog Meadow Caretakers, William Barron, Randy Mesh, James Titolo, Michael Slap, and James Rings. May I have a motion and a second? So moved. May I have a second? Second. May I have roll call? Trustee Guerrero? Yes. Trustee Alward? Yes. Trustee DeSalvo? Yes. Trustee Phillips? Yes. Mayor DiNocchio? Yes. Thank you so much. May I have a motion for the following appointment, the purchasing clerk, uh, Luciana Brown? May I, have a, may I have a motion and a second, and then roll call? So moved. Second. May I have roll call? Trustee Guerrero? Yes. Trustee Alward? Yes. Trustee DeSalvo? Yes. Trustee Phillips? Yes. Mayor D'Onofrio? Yes. Thank you so much. May I have a motion and a second roll call on the following? What are we doing for it? Can you break A out for me, please? Just A. May, may, I, may I have a motion and a second and a roll call on the official depositories of the village funds shall be J.P. Morgan Chase, N.A., HSBC, Bank USA, Orange County Trust, and Key Bank. May I have roll call? Motion? No. May I have mo motion and a second roll call? Make a motion. Is there a second? Second. May I have roll call? Trustee Guerrero? Yes. Trustee Alward? Yes. Trustee DeSalvo? Just going to abstain from the banking stuff. Trustee Phillips? Yes. Mayor DiNocchio? Yes. Motion carries. Four, one abstention. Thank you. May I have a motion and a second and roll call. The official newspaper of the Village of Hong Falls shall be the News of the Highlands. The Times Herald record as needed. All regular Village Board meetings shall be held on the first Monday of each month at 7 p.m in the Village Hall, 303 Main Street, Holland Falls, New York, 10928, and the third Monday of each month at 7 p.m. Bills and claims will be approved at each meeting. The official business hours of the Village offices are 8.30 a.m. through 4, through 4 p.m. daily, except Saturdays, Sundays, and holidays. The annual inspection of the Village installations and streets shall be held in June of 2022. The annual inventory for village fixed assets shall be held during the month of June 2022. The mayor shall be authorized to sign checks and disperse village funds in the event of an emergency or in the absence of a trip, the treasurer, the deputy treasurer, and the village clerk. Next, the appointment of John Robert Polchetti and Associates as village engineers. Reimbursement rate for authorized use of privately owned vehicles shall be determined by the IRS Federal Tax Guide. Rate for 2022 is 58.5 cents per mile. Pursuant to Section 281-1 of the New York State Bingo Commission <coughs> Rules and Regulations, the Bingo Inspector Sergeant Ruger is authorized to act in matters pertaining to bingo operations for the Village Board in the Village of Holland Falls. Next, Discrimination and Harassment Committee, at this point, will be the Village Labor Attorney. Next, the pers at, that pursuant to Part 5600 of the Rules and Regulations of Games of Chance, delegated to the following name officers, the responsibility and the authority granted to them by law in relation to the issuance, the amendment, and the cancellation of licenses, the conduct of investigations and hearings, the supervision of the operation of Games of Chance, and the collection, utilization, and the transmission fee for a period of one year is the village clerk and the deputy village clerk. Pursuant to Village Law 5-524-6, the Board of Trustees authorizes payment in advance of the audit of claims for public utility services, postage, freight, and express charges. All such claims must be presented at the next regular meeting for audit and and the claimant and the officer incurring and the office incurring the approving of claims are jointly and severely liable for any amount of the board of trustees dissolved. Disallows.
sorry, pursuant pursuant to Chapter 12-12-2 of the Code of the Village of Holland Falls, the continuity of government in the event of an emergency disaster shall be as follows. Deputy Mayor George Dapper, William Barron, Deputy Fire Commissioner Ken Palazzo, Kenny Conley, Deputy Sanitation Commissioners Joseph Belladone and Anthony Palella, Deputy Street Commissioners Carlo Myers and Randy Mesh, Deputy Water Commissioners Arvel Brown and Hector Alamont, Deputy Chief of Police Thomas Pitt and George Fallon, Deputy Clerk Ellen Connors and Amy McCormick Belladone, the Deputy Treasurer Harvey Green and Frank Taylor. May I have all of that with a roll call and a motion? So moved. Second? Second. All in uh, roll call. Trustee Guerrero? Yes. Trustee Alward? Yes. Trustee Salva? Yes. Trustee Phillips? Yes. Mayor D'Onofrio? Yes. Thank you so much, Motion Parents. Next, uh, I need a motion after review of the previously adopted written investment policy be continued. It hasn't changed since you all saw it last. Is there a mo uh, may I have a motion? Make a motion. Do I have a second? Second. May I have roll call? Trustee Guerrero? Yes. Trustee Alward? Yes. Trustee DeSalvo? I'm going to abstain from that too. Trustee Phillips? Yes. Mayor DiNacrio? Yes. Motion carries four, one abstention. May I have a motion and a roll call after review of the previously adopted procurement policy be continued? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Roll call. Trustee Guerrero? Yes. Trustee Alward? Yes. Trustee DeSalvo? Yes. Trustee Phillips? Yes. Mayor DiNacrio? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Next, may I have a motion roll call that the Village Hall will be closed at 1 p.m. on Friday, December the 23rd, 2022. So moved. Second. Roll call. Trustee Guerrero? Yes. Trustee Alward? Yes. Trustee DeSalvo? Yes. Trustee Phillips? Yes. Mayor DiNacrio? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. And last, may I have a motion to adjourn the reorganization for 2022-2023? Make a motion. Second. Roll Trustee call. Guerrero? Yes. Trustee Alward? Yes. Trustee DeSalvo? Yes. Trustee Phillips? Yes. Mayor DiNacrio? Yes. Thank you so much. May I have a motion to close the reorg? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Yes. Yes. Opposed? Motion carried. Is there any public comment on agenda items? I have a comment, but it's not pertaining to the agenda. Shall we put it in? Okay. Let the record show no comments on agenda items. Presiding Officer James DeSavo, may I have a motion to approve the minutes? Regular meeting we had on March 21, 2022, and we had a special meeting on March 31, 2022. Is there a second? Second. On, uh, may, was everyone here for both meetings? I was not here for the 21st. All right. I was here for the 30th. All right, we need to break this down. May I have a motion uh, to approve the minutes on March 21, 2022? So moved. May I have a second? Second. Second. Roll call. Trustee Guerrero? Yes. Trustee Alward? Yes. Trustee DeSalvo? Yes. Trustee Phillips? I'm staying. I wasn't here for that meeting. Mayor yes, motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. May I have a motion for the special meeting we had on March 31, 2022? So moved. Second? Second. Roll call. Trustee Guerrero? Yes. Trustee Alward? Yes. Trustee DeSalvo? Yes. Trustee Phillips? Yes. Mayor DiNacchio? Yes. Thank you so much. Next, Hazen and Sawyer, which quite a while ago we had this company here. Their proposals for professional service for the evaluation of a, the total organic carbon removal at the water treatment plant at a cost of $11,700 per the re recommendation of the village engineer. Um, this is something that we really must do. Uh, and it could solve a, a couple issues up there in the positive way. So I would ask the board to move this tonight. Motion. Motion. Is there a second? Second. Second. You have it, Gina? Mm-hmm. 
All in favor? Yes. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Next, we have uh, looking. I'm looking for authorization to sign the village attorney Elise Trahoon's 2022-2023 fee proposal. May I have a motion? Motion. May I have a second? Second. May I have roll call? Trustee Guerrero. Yes. Trustee Alward. Yes. Trustee DeSalvo. Yeah. Trustee Phillips. Yes. Mayor Dinoff. Yes. Thank you so much. Next, I have uh, a proposal uh, from the LA from the LA group, who's working very closely uh, on the on this uh, zoning um, the zoning uh, possible changes we have before us. Uh, that there will be a moratorium soon, as the paperwork um, is handed in, uh, that we can start that moratorium, but. Uh, the LA group is helping with uh, uh, a lot of work with the zoning possible changes. So uh, they have submitted um, an estimate uh, of 17,500. Um, I will tell you that tomorrow I will be having a discussion with the LA group on this. Um, the only reason I say that part is it could come down, but it will not go up. So this could be approved that th at this not amount, to not to exceed, it could go down. I think it will go down. Uh, exactly. I have a question. What is it that they're doing? I thought we have an engineer actually looking into that zoning. Do you have? Do you have? Yeah. Do you have so this? I do. Okay. So why? Why? Would we have the Ellen group? Well, they're doing things that they're doing things that the engineer doesn't do. Um, a lot of this, the engine, the a lot of this, the engineer doesn't do, and then uh, even though it's probably not, it's 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 a uh, not directly, but it's related. Uh, they're doing the also all this work that we're going to be doing over the next couple of months will also go into the comprehensive plan that they are doing for us. So instead of an update, it's really a brand new comprehensive plan. No. Yeah. No. Well, I mean. It it's not a brand new. No, no, but the zoning part is yeah. going to be really yeah. updated. Yeah, very, with this included. very limited. Yeah. Right, so, right. It's yeah, definitely not. Yeah, because when new. I had spoken to Tracy, she said that the update and what we were paying for did not include the zoning, a study of the zoning, which was done 10 years ago when we did a comprehensive uh, uh, plan. So I guess what this does is make it an entirely new comprehensive plan, which makes sense. If we're going to make no, I need to correct that. That's no. That's yeah. if you want to continue to say it, that's okay. The, the comprehensive plan, the draft is done. We're not. The zoning part might might be changed, but that's it. But however you want to look at it. That's what you're saying. Okay, whatever you want to look at it. Okay, so how do we feel about this? Correcting. Can we move? Or? So you want to up to? Because you. Yeah, up to. I, I'm hoping to re get it reduced. That's a lot of money. That's a lot yeah, of money. Yeah, it certainly is. Yeah. I make a motion to approve 17.5 for looks like revision of zoning code, mm -hmm. which is pretty lengthy, mm -hmm. uh, up to 17.5 in hopes that it comes down. That's a lot of money. So they're going to do the zoning, and we also have the engineer looking into the zoning amendment that we're doing. So we have we're paying two two outside contractors to do this zoning amendment that we're doing one in the tune of 17.5 and an unknown amount for the engineer it's like water money is just like coming out of our fingers I have a motion I, I thought we were also going to uh, meet with Ed Dunn and the zoning board of course we're meeting with uh, planning board zoning board uh, I'm going to meet with contractors, I'm going to meet with residents, I'm going to meet with attorney. You know, I've, we, I've already started to some degree. Absolutely. The uh, planning board and the zoning board both have the draft comp, pre, the draft comp plan. I'm, I have asked them for change, uh, you know, anything they want to take suggestions on, anything. I haven't heard back from either one, but I will soon, I, I, I think. 
Again, I have a motion on the floor for the LA group. Is there a second? And they can't exceed 11,700, right? No, this is, oh, no that, that's okay. Let's see what happens when you get old. That's okay, right there. Okay. No, they can't exceed. And like I said, I'm going to talk to them tomorrow. That's the thing. This was all precipitated by this amendment of an amendment. This is an amendment of the B3 zoning uh, to change from 350 square feet to 2,500 square feet. That was an amendment that we paid attorneys for uh, to put it as a new law, a new amendment in 2019, 2020. So just two years ago. Now we're changing it again, saying that that was a mistake. And in order to change it, we're going to require thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to change it into another number. But the wheels have started to turn. So. Can, can we have a meeting with the residents first about this money? Before you pull it out. Well, first of all, you got to wait. It's not going anywhere yeah. right now, anyway. So. If you, whoa, 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 I can't do the meeting this way. At public comment. We need the LA group to help us here, so it's up to you guys. I, whatever you want to do. Is there a second? If not, I'll move on. Okay, I'm going to, I'll move on. Okay, um, bills and claims for fiscal year 21 22, $354,819.72. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Yes. yes. Opposed? Motion carried. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. When it's it's okay. All right. So let's see. Okay, we're going to flush hydrants, uh, and we're doing it for the second time. We did it. The, we've always done it at night. Uh, we're going to, uh, which created water. You know, and there's no good time, but it, 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 when we did it at night, there was dirty water in the morning when everyone was getting up to go to work and taking showers and maybe doing laundry, etc. So last time, uh, and there was a lot of less complaints, we did it during the day. And so we're going to do it during the day again, uh, April 11th and April 12th. <laughs> Flushing hydrants, April 11th, April 12th during the day. I told you the date for the next budget workshop. Easter egg hunt this Saturday, 9 to 12, 9 to noon at Row Park. Um, that's this Saturday. On Sunday, uh, the historian is uh, hosting a uh, open house of all the churches, Holland Falls and Fort Montgomery. Um, it's 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Again, on Sunday, April the 10th. And it's really a self-guided tour. All the churches will be open um, and it's a self-guided tour, and when you walk into the churches, there'll be um, um, flyers there, pamphlets there about the history of, 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 of the churches. So, um, again, it's self-guided. Anytime between 11 and 4, you're welcome to participate by going into any of our churches. We have uh, Church of Holy Innocence, St. John's AME Zion, Sacred Heart, St. Mark's Baptist, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Grace Baptist Church, the Fort Montgomery United Methodist Church, the Blessed Sacrament Church, St. Mark's Episcopal Church, and um, some of these churches are on the National Register for Historic Places, so it, it should be very nice. It's a nice opportunity for some folks who haven't been in the different churches, maybe always wanted to, uh, this would be a good day. 
and again, you'll be able to take some history home. I want to thank the Town of Highlands United Youth Council. Uh, it's a group of, I think it was all girls, young girls. I don't know, maybe there was some, uh, some there guys. Were boys. There, there were boys there? Okay, good. Um, uh, for all the different events they had at the American Legion this past Saturday to raise money for uh, Ukraine. Uh, they did very well. It's nice when young people come up with things like that to participate in. Um, tomorrow, um, I will be meeting uh, with the state and DOT on and the contractor who was awarded the job to totally pave Mountain Avenue from Stony Lonesome to Main Street, uh, from Thayer Gate all the way down to 11 Main Street, which is where the new church is. And then they're also going to pave the whole length of the old Route 218 going past Craxton and the trailer park all the way down to where it, but it, where it meets 9W. So we're going to go over uh, everything tomorrow and um, um, I think it'll be a, a good meet. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Um, What I want to tell everyone, uh, most people know now that the state came last week and filled in some of the potholes on South Main Street down past Andiora Park, uh, Ambulance Corps North. Um, that was from a meeting, and that was from a phone call on Monday that I had with them. Um, and uh, they came the following day. It's too bad they didn't do the whole, the, the entire length. They only did up to the Hacienda. West Point Highway is pretty bad. Um, but I want everyone to know that if you hit a pothole on a state road, and if you don't, if those folks that are watching TV, if you don't write this down, the ladies downstairs will have it. You can always call them up for the number. But if you hit a pothole and you have damage to your car, you can call the Poughkeepsie number, DOT in Poughkeepsie, for claims. And you can do the paperwork to fill in, to, to, to hopefully get reimbursed. The number is 431-5921. 431-5921. And again, that number will be downstairs um, if you want to call up and ask for the DOT uh, pothole number. Sure, that's ringing off the hook. Yep. Um, the last thing that I have is speeding. Um, we have talked about speeding up here uh, religiously, constantly, um, and it doesn't stop. Maybe the people who speed don't watch the meeting. Maybe they don't buy the news to the Highlands. I, I, I don't know. In working with the police department, I can tell you that outside of the main arteries, something like Cousins Avenue, Mountain Avenue, which take you to a lot of other streets, all those other streets, this, the research that we've done is uh, eight out of ten speeders on these roads live on the same live on that street. So it's our neighbors. The state dictates, which I don't particularly care for, the speed limit on village side streets. I'm always amazed that they get to say what the speed limit should be. And uh, the speed limit is 25. It really should be 15. Um, but it's one of those impossible things for them to agree to. I think they probably would have most municipalities wanting to change. Um, uh, but the speeding on the side streets has to stop. Now, uh, we're going to do extra patrols. I met with the police department. We're going to do extra patrols, as we should. But if the police car is going up Cousins Avenue and I'm behind it, of course I'm not going to speed. If I look in my mirror and you're behind me, of course I'm going to slow down. Um, I know. So um, I will take suggestions from the police department. I, uh, one suggestion is speed bumps. And uh, we had them for a while. Um, I'm going to look at in a, I'm going to look at it again to see what the rules and regulations are for putting speed bumps down. I know no one likes speed bumps, 
Um, it does create a liability for the village if you go over a speed bump and your muffler falls off. Um, so I'll be uh, meeting uh, with the uh, officer in charge, uh, Jason Torpy, and uh, the village attorney and uh, see what we can come up with. In the meanwhile, as I see three or four officers here, uh, four, and Tanya, if you want to suggest anything, either tell me or Jason. I'm going to have that meeting soon. It's got to stop. Um, what we will, uh, we will, um, we will be state. We will be in. Uh, we will have the police car in on certain streets where it can be more hidden than out in the open, and uh, people are going to get tickets because it has to stop, and that's the only way it stops. So I'll take help. Um, wait till the. Uh, I'm almost done. Yes, so I did the speed bumps. Okay. Um, Potholes we did. Okay. Let's go down the line. Let's get down. Um, Mr. Howard. You okay? Yeah. Hi. Mr. Phillips. Uh, nothing. Wow. Mr. DeSavo. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm going to give the update of the building department since we haven't done it in a while. And uh, they're, uh, Mr. Hannah Waltz, fairly busy down there. Uh, this is for March 2022. 32 permits, 32 applications were received, 19 permits issued, 17 C of O's, uh, or sorry, certificates of compliance, one certificate of occupancy, 50 building permit inspections, two fire safety inspections, 14 municipal searches were completed, five FOIL requests, and $9,900 total in fees collected. Uh, a comment to the new liaison, um, <clears throat> that department is... Um, running as best as possibly can uh, with what uh, what monies and funds have been appropriated for that to, for that department um, I've mentioned to some of the council members that it's not enough uh, it's a joint consolidated um, service and you know I, I never got a chance to see what I wish this could be broken down uh, this report to town village or Fort Montgomery Village, uh, just to see what's going on. Um, I'd be interested to see how that breakdown is, um, because I think it, we have more of a code enforcement issue up on, on our neck of the woods. Um, while we do have a couple spots of new building or permits being issued for major rehabs on buildings, code enforcement always seems to be an issue with us. I know Mr. Phillips feels strongly about that, Mayor, along with the rest of the board. Um, so that continues to be an issue. Um, so as we move forward with that, they may need to allocate more resources for that department. Okay, I'm going to open this up uh, to the public. Frank, do you have something? You want to? Yes. Uh, let me just touch on uh, about the speed in the neighborhood first. I know it is very important, and with the nice weather coming, it is very important. And a lot of the local residents uh, do abuse it sometimes with the speed. Uh, one of the things I think that we can do is to put the signs up, uh, like to show your speed as you're coming, and just move it around from neighborhood to neighborhood. You know, and nobody wants to hit a child or an animal or a dog. It is really important, and we're not out looking to ticket local residents, but that's something that we really have to think about to slow these neighborhoods down. Uh, 25 miles an hour, like you said, Mayor, is very quick. When you take the speed limit on South Main Street, it's 30. It really, 25 miles an hour on a side street. Yeah, it's too much. It's very fast. So, you know, we may have to put unmarked cars in the area in order to run radar and yeah. take care of the business. Yeah. I got I to gotta, I gotta cut it down. I agree. I agree. So it's something that we have to really look at with the uh, nice weather coming and people tend to pick up the speed a little bit. Okay. Uh, on the other note, I'm here tonight uh, to just speak about... Um, Officer uh, Torpy, who was our officer in charge now, Sergeant Torpy. Uh, as I know, the village board has been interviewing for the position of chief of police. Uh, I just want to speak about Sergeant Torpy. I have some of my fellow officers here and dispatchers here, some village residents here. Uh, we're really in support of Sergeant Torpy in becoming chief. And there's a lot of reasons why. He was born and raised in his village. He went to public schools here. He knows the community very well. He knows the residents very well. 
He's one of the guys you can pick up the phone, you won't deny your call, you ask to talk to him, you can come in and speak to him, and he takes care of what needs to be done. He's been proactive. He's been a, a new thing he just started, coffee with the cop, where residents can come in and express their concerns about a particular neighborhood. Before something happens, we want to know about it before. And this is something that he's initiated to even talk to the residents. Very important. Um, you know, and I think it's very important. Not only he has all overwhelming support from our members of the department, everybody is endorsing him. Also, uh, our village residents that I've spoken to know Jason. They know his family. His family lives here. They know him. And he's one of the guys who's compassionate, can be tough when he needs to be, but listens to people. And I think it's very important when we have someone within our ranks who's been through here. I started with Jason 16 years ago after I retired from Peak Skill. And I've watched him grow from this young officer to a sergeant and to the officer in charge now. He's ran the department for the past year and a half. And for six other months, he did it while Chief Scott was, uh, had a, an issue. So really, he's done it for like two years. And I've got to tell you, over the last year and a half, our department has received more training in the last year and a half than I've probably seen in the last 10 years. And as you guys know, better trained officers really mean a lot for the community, uh, for our department in whole. And so I just really want to express our appreciation for Jason Torpy for running the department and leading the department. And I think he's done a fantastic job and I uh, hope you guys really consider what he's done for the department and what he does for the community uh, and hopefully make him our next chief. So Thanks, sir. Anyone else? Yes. Uh, uh, Michael Joyce, 12 Eagle Valley Road. Uh, on, the, on the question of speeding, I, I think this might be the staffing mm -hmm. issues. Uh, speed cameras. Especially on Mountain Avenue by, by the school. Uh, these days, not to have it. It's kind of like a little bit archaic. Mm -hmm. Because uh, in the boroughs in New York, they all have them. And they're posted. It's not like you put up a speed camera and they, they zap you. Mm -hmm. Like there's a, a sign, you know, speed enforced by camera before you come into the area. That area coming down the hill when you got that pedestrian walkway to the mm -hmm. supermarket and there's no pensions, there's no medical, there's no overtime. No, 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 but, but it's, I'm, I'm putting this out there, it's not taking away from what you guys do. I mean, you guys have got more important work really than catch speeders. I mean, it is part of your job, It's important. but we need you to knuckle down on the crime. That, that's what we need you guys to do. That's what you're good at. You know, catching speeders, yeah, the, the really bad ones, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? The ones that are speeding, they can, especially on Mountain Avenue though, mm -hmm. speed cameras could go in there. Because then everybody will get you, you know, there's a camera on that road, you got to slow down, because there's two places there where children have to cross the road. Mm -hmm. yeah. By the school. By the school. Yeah, that's a nice town. Yeah, he's right. Yeah, and, and also by my town, because a lot of people, you know, walk there and they use that cross walkway. And I, I'm not sure you guys have seen near misses. Yeah, well, I, 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 I've seen near misses. Thank you. Right, Anyone cool. else? Take a motion to adjourn. Second. Someone? Second. All in favor? Yes. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you very much.